Acts of the Apostles, 36, The Sign of the Scarlet Banyan Tree, Cambodian Communism. The sign of the Scarlet Banyan Tree and Communism pushed to its summit. We may often wonder in the 20th century, the century of horrors populated by antichrists, just exactly what might be the summit, and often we may answer Adolf Hitler, I think that we are wrong in saying so. The eighth of horror, perhaps not in quantity but in quality of horror, is Cambodia. It appears to me, in my opinion, to be the Khmer Rouge. There had been a prophecy in this ancient marvelous kingdom of the Khmers, a kingdom where a classical ballet existed as in France as in Russia, therefore a particular art. There had been a prophecy which said that when one day a sunset will come as bright red as the banyan tree in autumn, which is a particular tree, then we would have to flee the country because misfortune would occur. And the sunset happened in the 1970s, and indeed, sometime later, Pol Pot and the Khmer Rouge took power. They were communists. Pol Pot had been trained in France, in Nanterre, with ideologists of this kind. Pol Pot had analyzed Russia and China and understood that they had not succeeded in imposing socialists paradise on earth because people were corrupted by the old bourgeois system and so he decided that it was necessary to remove all those who had a bourgeois culture and start from a native people the Khmers, the mountain dwellers and so all the people who had tin hands teachers hands or glasses or who could claim to be doctors were immediately executed. Even the little dancers of the Phnom Penh ballet who maintained this art of classical Khmer dance all had been killed, a plastic bag on their heads and smoothered. They were nine or ten years old. In a few years, he killed two million people. And why had it been worse than Hitler? Because they had been their own people. They are their own children. And people denounced their parents and arrived in these camps where they had to work to produce rice and that would necessarily produce since everyone worked there they continued to execute someone because starving he had picked up a slug to eat it in the evening so as not to die right away pope pius 12 warned it, communism is inherently perverse why? Because human nature is not that. We work for those we love, the wife, the children, and for friends. We are not working for an abstract community. Why does God allow all this? One may wonder when analyzing history. The only way to understand such things in our God's behavior towards us who are Catholics is that subjected to such slavery, the dead in such of death, the souls of God's children who have arrived on the other side and are welcomed by Christ, accompanied by saints and angels, this suffering Christ, this Christ who had lived all possible martyrdom theirs and who immediately consoles them as resurrected them returns them to their families explains to them why he had allowed them to do so and these poor people are broken by the loss of all they had lost rush towards him with understanding and therefore suddenly become without having to go through another purgatory God's friends for eternity. Obviously this is what is called the scandal of the cross, terrible scandal, which Saint Paul denounces as being folly for the pagans but the wisdom of God. In any case, when we arrive at the hour of death and when we are confronted with Christ, we must believe that he will have good arguments to fill us as he had said blessed are those thirsty 
for justice, they will be satisfied. Because in front of such a scandal, one may say to oneself, but who will be able to satisfy justice of the man who consent to such atrocities? Answer, Christ can.